Hey, good morning everybody. It's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. It's Sunday morning. That means it's time for the Silky Smooth Sunday Shave. Hope everybody had a great week. Mine was pretty okay. <clears throat> so uh, let's get into the shave. Well, what are we using today? A lot of the same stuff because it's handy and I'm lazy. Omega Bore 10098. Little Tim's Cedar Spice. That label's seen better days. And for the shaver, we'll be doing a CJB Kamasori. Hopefully I can make it through this one without slicing my face off. The last time I used this, I got that pretty decent cut across my jawline there. And then uh, I'm gonna try and squeak in a head shave if the video doesn't run too long. Headblade ATX. All right, let's get going. I didn't pull out any post because I'm a bad YouTuber. So it's been blooming while I was in the shower. Let's see, going four days. Yeah, four days worth of growth, I think. Four or five, something like that. <clears throat> so, not getting ready for church. Not getting ready for work. Well, in a roundabout way, I'm getting ready for work. If I shave today, then I don't have to shave tomorrow night. All right, anyway. So, hope everybody had a good weekend. Mine was pretty uneventful, pretty relaxing. Spent most of the weekend with my foot propped up because that ankle is still a freaking wreck. Got a, an appointment with the specialist on the 9th to find out what's going on. Hopefully, he can give me some answers and give me some relief. Um, I'm not 100% convinced it's not gout. And if it is, then I've been sitting on a gouty ankle for a few weeks and may have caused some um, <laughs> actual long-term damage to my ankle as that uric acid sat in there and crystallized. So hopefully that's not the case. But I guess we'll find out when I see the doctor on the 9th. Anyway, that's enough about that. Yeah, so it's, like I said, uneventful weekend. I took my truck to the shop. I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that I put a little dinger in the door, got impatient, and uh, turned in sharply into my parking lot or into my parking space. And we've got like these decorative uh, big stone rock walls around the trees near the parking area. And I cut it a little close and dinged up my door. So I took my truck in on Friday, got the, uh, called the insurance, got the approval to go get it looked at. They gave me, I took it to the place here in town. They gave me a rental car for the week. Nice. Uh, Late model uh, Nissan Frontier pickup truck to replace my Toyota Tacoma. Nice truck. Um, I used to have a Frontier and I really enjoyed it. And at the time when I bought my truck, I would have bought another one, but the gas mileage on the Toyota was better. So I went with the Toyota. Anyway, got the estimate for my truck repair. It's going to be just over a $1,000. Something like that, 1100 somewhere around there. Um, but with my insurance, I only have to pay 501 So that's nice. Now, my insurance will probably go up. And uh, it is what it is. <clears throat> but anyway, that's getting taken care of. So I've also not been driving the, uh, <clears throat> trying not to drive the rental around too much. Don't want to get any dings, nicks, or scratches in it that they may charge me for. So. It was funny when I went to go rent it because it's a it's a little bit more powerful truck than mine. It's got a towing package and all that stuff. And I noticed it when we were doing the walk around. And I said, oh, it's got a towing package in the lady who was the rental car clerk she kind of looked at me I said don't worry I'm not gonna go <laughs> it's also four-wheel drive like don't worry I'm not gonna go off-roading or towing anything in a rental that's not smart besides I don't have anything to tow Hope everybody had a nice Halloween if you guys celebrate that kind of stuff. So 
Some people dig it, some people don't. Hope everybody was, if you did decide to go do something, you were safe. I've got no kids, got no friends, went to no parties. Didn't want no Corona. <laughs> Speaking of Corona and kids and parties, the work wife uh, sent me a picture last night. Her daughter had initially not wanted to go trick-or-treating and I think with all of the beer flu nonsense going around, she wasn't too disappointed with that. Then at the last minute, the little one decided that she did want to go. So they took her around trick-or-treating and it looks like they just did like a small loop or whatever. But they stopped at one house and on the front porch along with the candy that they left out, or I guess they left the candy in the yard. They like spread it in the yard, like, I don't know, like landmines or something from the picture she sent me. But the kids could collect candy from the front yard. But they also left out a bucket of beer for the adults. So that was kind of funny. She was she sent me a picture of that. I thought it was interesting. Definitely made me one wish I was drinking. Two. That I had kids that are went and picked up a free a free uh, cold beer. But other than that, like I said, just relaxed around the house, did a little bit of cleaning, got some more cleaning to do. I do have to run out to the grocery store and get stuff for meal prep this week. Not sure what I'm prepping yet. I was thinking about maybe buying a, a roast and doing a roast, either in the crock pot or in the new wave. You usually get a good hand fill, a good week's worth or so of meals out of a nice roast. So, question is, is pork or beef? I don't know. We'll see. Also, it depends on the price because you guys know I'm cheap, right? You guys keep seeing that flickering in the light? Not that I... Not that I believe in ghosts or anything like that, but the past couple videos I've made... I've noticed that in the bathroom. So maybe my bathroom is haunted. Woo! It is Halloween time. Dia de los Muertos is tomorrow. I mean, you never know what kind of crazy things happen in apartments. I mean, how many people move in and out of these places? Ooh, spooky. Made it through the first pass without dying. It's pretty good. Ooh. I don't know if it's a pimple or a nick, but I got a little blood spot right there. So hopefully it's not a ghost because that may attract them. Oh, anyway, yeah, no, it's a weird morning. Daylight saving started today. Yay. Got that extra hour of sleep. No, I just woke up at my normal time and it was an hour earlier. So I've been up since four o'clock instead of five. 
there is no extra hour of sleep. Now I did lay in bed and goof off online and check the interwebs and all that stuff for about an hour before I decided to get out of bed and get started, but no extra hour of sleep. It's a lie. It's a lie. A lie. A lie, I tell you. So if I pay attention to what I was doing, I would go this way because it's the second pass. So I watched one of Caleb McCullough's videos last week and he was talking about walking in the woods and seeing a bunch of squirrels and I know he's a, a big air gun guy so got me thinking about squirrel hunting with uh, an air gun and uh, so I've been doing a little research on that kind of stuff. And I was searching this morning through the interwebs. On Instagram just to kind of see. If a lot of people were doing it. <clears throat> what kind of pictures were out there and stuff like that to kind of get inspired or whatever. And so I searched one of the, the big name. Um, back to the fuck. One of the big name uh, air gun manufacturers, hashtag Gamo Air Guns or Gamo Air Rifles or something like that. And I got a big notice pop up that says most of this co or this content has been hit or some of this content has been hit um, because of the upcoming election or something crazy like that. I was just like, what does air rifles or what do air guns have to do with the election and how could they possibly influence a voter? I'm telling you, man, internet, the internet is crazy. Crazy. All the propagandas and stuff. Bad, not a bad little half pass there.
Yeah, it's just funny, like, and I don't know if it's like this in other places, but, like, it just seems like there's been so much on social media in particular, like, I don't want to say censorship, but, like, anytime somebody posts a picture that has anything to do with either one of the candidates or any anything political, they pop up a, like a you know, like a voter information thing, like you may be spreading false information or something. Like even, I noticed it the other day when I posted a picture from a few years ago and a memory that came up on my Facebook, but like that I had went and voted and it was just like, hey, if I don't post, if I don't post a picture of the sticker that says I voted, did I really vote? But it even, like, even just that, it threw up, like, the red the red flag about, like, this may be false information. Go to voter information, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, what the heck, man? It's crazy. It's crazy. If you don't think social media is trying to influence stuff, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too, it, this election cycle has made it even more obvious than, uh, than ever. But anyway, I'm not going to get into politics because that's not what I do here. What I do do here is have a pretty decent shave. That was actually really nice. Um, let's do the head shave now. 16 minutes. Wow, I'm blazing through it today. So yeah, anyway, what else? I don't know. I don't know what else. Got another day off tomorrow. Be working on, probably working on meal prep then too, or cleaning the apartment or something. Probably nothing fun and exciting because my foot is gimped up and I can't do anything. Can't go fishing. The weather's been perfect for it too. Cool in the morning, sunny and warm in the afternoons, like in the 60s and 70s. Like great fall fishing weather. Haven't been able to go out fishing because I can't stand for any amount of time. I can't walk very far. Um, it's just been very frustrating. So hopefully, Next week, the doc will get this sorted out. And then I don't know if I mentioned a couple, mentioned it or not, because it was pretty in, inconsequential. But about a month ago, I was opening windows to air out my apartment and I hyperextended my right elbow. And uh, yeah, it was weird, man. I was like, I have one window that's particularly sticky and it's kind of in an awkward position behind a chest of drawers. So I stuck my arm back and I went to pull up and hyperextended my elbow. Heard it pop, hurt like a son of a gun. And uh, you know, a day or so later it was it was fine. No big deal. Um, so I didn't think twice about it. Got better. Every now and again I'd get a little ache or something like that if I moved my arm a certain way or I gripped something really tightly with my arm extended. But no big deal. Figured it was still part of the healing process. So, but then the other night, like the big uh, cold snap came through and we were down in like the thirties and I stopped and bought some firewood from a fireplace. Cause you know, I live in the city so I don't have wood that I can cut myself. So I stopped and bought some firewood and I needed to cut it up into smaller, into, you know, make kindling and, and stuff like that so that I could get the fire lit. And I didn't think anything of it. I used a, a, an old knife and a hatchet and I did some batoning and, you know, some low grade, some small piece chopping, no big deal. But like, since then, man, like that night it was kind of achy. And I didn't think much about it, you know. And it was, so it was a couple of days and it was just achy, low, low level aches, no big deal. And so then, so then on Friday, I said, well, it's not going to be cold for a while, but I should probably get the wood ready so that I have, you know, a big handful of kindling size shape um, or size, you know, wood. So I took some more out to baton and to split with that hatchet. And man, about five minutes in, I couldn't hold the hatchet. My elbow was on fire, absolute fire. And now my, it just freaking, my elbow is a wreck. Like, I was wondering if I was going to be able to, to do the shave today because bending and straightening and gripping and, 
and all that stuff is not comfortable at all, bordering on pretty dang painful. So, luckily it's not too bad right now. Um, so, I can, I'll make it through the shave, you know, the things I do for you, my, my, my steadfast and loyal viewers. <laughs> this old body, I'm telling you man, sometimes, Sometimes I can't wait to get my change. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh, goodness. All right, first pass done. Anyway, that's about it, man. I'm just an old broken guy with nothing going on. Broken body. Good night. But it is what it is. It's such a shame because, you know, this year, last time, the last time this year, I was rocking, you know, like three to five miles almost every day. I was doing total gym workouts on a regular basis. And even up until a month or so ago, you know, I was, I was starting to run. I was, you know, until my back went out, like in September, I was rocking on a regular basis. I was lifting weights. I was feeling good. I was, did a good job keeping most of the weight off, you know, and then now all of a sudden since September, man, man, everything is just falling apart. <laughs> it's been a pretty frustrating end to the year, for sure. I mean, the whole year has been kind of frustrating with everything that's going on, um, you know, but this past couple of months, it's been very frustrating because it made me remember how, like, when my back was at its worst and I was at my heaviest, how I was so immobile and incapacitated and just bored with life because I couldn't go and do what I wanted when I wanted. Like, movement was painful and, like, anything was, everything was just so, it seemed so far out of reach and. I'm trying not to get back into that headspace, but it just seems like about all I can do is struggle through, and you know, struggle through a day at work. And even if then I leave early most days because I have the time to burn and my ankle's killing me by three or four o'clock in the afternoon. So I cut out an hour or two early almost every day. And, but it's just hard to get, to not get back into that headspace of like, you know, Oh, I'm so busted up that I can't do anything. My life is, my, my quality of life is, is so low. And it's not. I have a good quality of life. I have a handful of decent friends that I see. I have some family members that I see. You know, I, I have some hobbies that I can still do. But it just seems like a big step backwards, you know. Um, and, that, and so that's kind of a mind game thing. And also putting on a little bit of that weight, you know. But... Still about 20 pounds heavier than I want to be, or than I should be, than I was last year, but eh, I'm probably closer to 10, but anyway. So that's a little frustrating too, and it's like, oh, did I do all that hard work, and I'm just going to go right back to where I was, especially now that I can't exercise, even though I know, like, in my brain, it's all, it's all, it's all in my brain, but it's frustrating. And I know there are some guys out there who have it worse than me. And I'm just kind of crying in my oatmeal right now. But that's kind of where I'm at right now. Some, like I said, some days I just get pretty bummed out about it. But it is what it is. Anyway, what I'm not bummed out about is this fantastic shave. It was a beautiful head and face shave. I am silky smooth. One little nick right there. Um, the rest are just wee little weepers in the normal spots. Well, that's it. It's about 25 minutes in, so I'm going to stop yammering. Thank you guys and gals so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I really enjoyed making the video. Thank you for all your support. Um, have a great week. Hope the rest of the weekend is nice for you too. No matter what you do, go spend some time with your friends and family because it's really important. Take care. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.